I'm Tamber Hefner. Um, I work for a reproductive rights organization here in town. And so I'm going to ask you about that. Um, one of the things, both state and federal, that keeps happening, it's not necessarily the debate on pro-choice versus anti-choice. It is that legislation is consistently introduced that slowly chips away at the right for a woman to make her own decision about her medical decisions. Right now on the Congress floor, there are 15 bills that would be considered anti-choice bills. Kind of a two-part question. Would you vote no on any bill that would at all impede a woman's right to choose? And would you ever consider co-sponsoring pro-choice bills? I think Tamber brings up a really good point. You know, this isn't pro-life versus pro-choice. Because our, our friends on the right that say pro-choice, pro-choice, I mean, the pro-life, pro pro-life, pro-life, don't seem to have a very pro-life stand. They're very pro-war, they're very pro-incarceration, they're very pro, they're very anti-immigration, they're very anti-Muslim, they're very anti-freedoms for anybody that looks or sounds like them. That's not pro-life. They're not pro-health care for people. So framing this as anti-choice and pro-choice, I think, is the right way to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamber, the first question, would I support any of those bills? The answer is no. I'm 100% pro-choice for women to support their own, to make their own health care choices. The second question, I think that we really need an ERA. I think that we need to focus on uh, just the Equal Rights Amendment. You know, I think that if anybody should have the same protections as anybody else, regardless of their gender, period. <laughs> it's Mike here. Uh, I have been uh, pro-choice all of my life. Uh, I have assisted women who were back in the 70s wanted to get an abortion and taking them to get that abortion in uh, houses where they went to the back room and whatever they did back there, I don't know. But I just became a supporter back in the 70s and I have still supported the uh, pro-right choice for women until this day. I think women have a long way to go for equal rights in America. But being a black person, I've been discriminated against all of my life, and I will not discriminate against anyone or any purpose. Uh, the lesbians I support, gay marriages I support. I support these things not because I think they're right, but I think they have a right <laughs> within themselves to do what they uh, are proposing to do. I have uh, values that conflict with some, certain things, but to answer your question, uh, I would probably, here's, here's what I think. What's, what was wrong with politicians is that they make statements about what they're going to do based on the number of mo money, that, the amount of money that they get. So if you give a candidate $80,000, then they will promote whatever uh, your organization wants promoted because of the money. And that's what's wrong with politics today is money. So when you take the money out of politics, you'll get a better representation. Uh, so I would support anything to do with uh, women's rights. So yes, I am I'm absolutely a pro-choice candidate. Um, in terms of answering your, your direct questions, um, would I vote against uh, any, any uh, pro-life-oriented legislation? Absolutely. Um, and would I want to add to pro-choice uh, legislation? Yes. Um, I will say this too, though, that I think one of the things that we can do um, to work with our pro-life uh, friends um, is work on reducing the number of abortions needed in the first place. So working on um, access to sex education, to um, more contraception. I mean, that's the thing with Planned Parenthood, right? Planned Parenthood has actually reduced the number of abortions substantially, by half. Actually, since 1980, the amount of abortions um, in this country have been reduced by half. So I think one of the ways we could reach across the aisle in that regard <coughs> would be to say, hey, let, let's work together to reduce that number again by half. That's what we need to be doing. Because at the end of the day, no one wants abortions. Um, so it's, it's not, that's not an ideal situation, no matter who you are. But we need to have the right to, to have them as needed. Um, but let's reduce the number that are needed.
you look at what the state states already placed in, in place number of restrictions we don't need more restrictions we need increased funding for health services especially the health services that have an education component because the research shows as Laura mentioned that it works and that's where we need to go and if the bill is to increase funding for health services I'm for that yeah didn't answer the question yeah you didn't answer the question which was would you um, not support anti-choice bills and would you consider co-sponsoring pro-choice bills if the bill is to increase services the health services I've been a long been a supporter of that and I would support that and I don't believe we need more restrictions can I clarify a little are you speaking about the to protect the health of the woman sort of health funding because there's, there's well, pr pr uh, pregnancy crisis centers and pregnancy maintenance centers that receive state funding and federal funding where abortion centers do not so it's sort of this idea of you can increase the stuff for the pregnancy maintenance centers and still knock out abortion which would be anti-choice law probably not familiar enough what i do know is what happened in colorado is the path i think we should be in where they've increased funding for health question, services Absolutely. and the number of abortions has gone down mm -hmm. that works the data tells us that works and i support that i have an 11 year old daughter and i don't want the government involved in her health care period she has a right to make up those decisions for herself when she becomes an adult you can't hear me there all right sorry just didn't have it up women have a right to choose period I would not support any bills that are going to impede upon that right and I would um, be willing to introduce legislation to make sure that a woman continues to have the rights to choose make choices for her own body we have seen we, we, we have to ask the other side the anti-choice people what is it you know what is your goal because you will never stop abortion because if you take away a woman's safe legal means to do it then they will do it in a back room yes. because they're still going to have this done so if if the goal is not to stop it then it, the goal is to reduce it and as laura was just saying we have been doing that we've seen effectiveness we've got a lower rate of abortion now than before roe v wade because of effective sex education classes for availability of contraceptives, the availability of planned parenthood. So that's my answer. Next question. Hello, I'm Brandi Calvert. Thank you guys for being here today and answering all of these questions. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a very loud person. <laughs> um, oh, yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> one, made one hell of a noise here. My actions are loud, yes. Um, to go along with the question that Tamber just asked, do you support Planned Parenthood and state funding for Planned Parenthood? And federal. And federal. And federal. Without a doubt. Uh, there's no question. And I think that uh, attacks on Planned Parenthood need to be because we have to protect, again, going back to my former answer, a woman's right to choose what happens with her own body. To the defunding of Planned Parenthood, the constant attacks on it is a way to divide us and a way to take attention off of lots of other issues because they know that people get so fired up about it. And that's one of the things that I'm hoping that we can do you know, as Democrats is regardless of which side you're on on those issues that we can set uh, aside some of those issues and make sure that we are also concentrating on the other things that are important jobs education veterans uh, benefits social security etc but with Planned Parenthood we have to keep it in place and we have to stop these efforts to defund it constantly I think the priority is that the services are available somebody has providers so they're going to propose to defund one group then they better have a plan to put somebody else in place because the priority is the services need to be there because the research tells us over and over that's what works so again the short answer is yes um, the better answer is not only would i uh, want to keep it funded i would want to increase funding to it short answer is I support uh, funding federally for parenthood uh, and 
what I think is that the Republicans use these types of issues as push button issues to make us excited to divide us. They use um, abortion. I have had Republicans tell me that they will never vote for anyone who kills babies. And that's not what we do. We give a woman a choice. So funding um, parenthood is one of those situations where it's a push button issue for the Republican Party. And Obamacare is a push button issue. It's issues that get us talking about that particular issue where they rob and steal the country blind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>